Hi everyone, it's Crafty Kathy here with day 27 in our epic road trip. We're nearing the end and I kind of hate to see, I hate to see it go. This one should be a little bit quicker one than yesterday. Um, the story of Detroit is that it was raining when we left Chicago. It was raining even harder when we got into Detroit. We checked into the hotel, had something to eat, lay down for a nap, uh, thinking we'd uh, get up and, and check and see if the um, rain had stopped. And uh, I wandered out and, and checked and didn't see any indication that the rain had stopped. So I laid back down and we kind of slept through when the shuttle left. And um, come to find out, <laughs> the rain did stop and we missed the ball game. So we didn't, we didn't do it. I am scrap lifting. Let me show you the layout that I'm scrap lifting. This is by Sammy Gregory Smith, and she did it for the uh, Mind the Scrap uh, Summer Challenge. And there's beautiful mixed media, and she's got some of these acetate leaves, I think, uh, there. And then she's got some splotches in a contrasting color. Uh, I wanted something kind of drippy and wet looking in dreary-ish colors. And so I had pulled out some wet mixed media, and I think I'm just gonna do it with rub-ons instead. There's no requirement to use mixed media, so I'm not gonna. And I'm just gonna start um, rubbing this on. I have printed my photos uh, round. What I did, how I did that, I know someone's gonna ask. Um, I set, I do everything on my word processing system. It, and I haven't taken the backing off. That's really not gonna work, is it? Um, I do everything in my word processing system, and that's not straight. Let me get this on a straight. I don't know that it would matter terribly. Anyway, I set my word processing system at, at, at a, a page, whatever size page I'm going to print on. And then the, it allows me to bring in a shape. So I bring in a circle and I size it the way I want. Then I copy and paste, so I get two circles. That's how I got these. And so they'll be the same size. And then I drag, uh, the, I've, I've had the photos, I take them out of my photos program and put them on my desktop. Then I drag them from the desktop onto the, uh, into the circles, and that masks them with that circle. In other words, it makes them fit inside the circle. And then I can make it, uh, I can adjust it so that I get just the right view. I wanted this one to show that we were in the car when I took that photo. We were also in the car when I took this one, but I wanted that particular tower in downtown Chicago to show. So it was kind of distinctively uh, a Chicago photo. I'm gonna go ahead and Pull this up. I was gonna say, just about to say, I'm not gonna worry if something didn't stick, but of course I do. And I go back and fix it. And Okay, so that's on there. I'm going to now add the kind of contrasting colors that are gonna be at the corner. And I'm gonna use the pinkish colors because I'm gonna have, there's a little bit of pink in the photo. And so I'm just gonna kind of place that right there. Then 
these are 49 and market rub-ons and I believe these go back to Spectrum Sherbet. I just wanted the mixed media-ish look, looking ones. So that's got that. And then I'm gonna take this pink texty looking one and do it. I think my first photo is gonna go right there. So I kind of want it where it, oh, I'm not covering it with the photo. So I'll do this and then I'll put a brighter pink um, splotch just this little splotch right here. Right there. And that will show, but it won't overtake the the rest of the color scheme. Okay. Now, let me put this back because I'm not using wet mixed media. I have some stitches that kind of were part of this rub on, but I thought I would use them kind of in the, the well, maybe this part right here because this kind of goes down there, I think I will use them all the whole length of the stitch. I was going to cut them in half and uh, and use part in one corner and part in the other. And And I have a sequin mix that I haven't used in a while. It's It was a um, special one done by Spiegel Mom Scraps for the Secret Not Secret Kit Club. So you know how long ago that was. Okay, this I'm gonna put down right here. And I'm gonna put this um, little state of Illinois there. Actually, I'm going to put it, glue it over on the other side. And I have a matching one from that same state set of the, for Michigan. So I'm going to kind of just put that right there. And I'll put this one like so, and I'll put the, the state of Michigan there. Let me get a little skinny thing and put it right here. And we're almost done. <laughs> I have a few very uh, simple embellishments. And I know you're finding that hard to believe. There. I want to add these leaves. They're a different blue from this one but it's it's kind of kind of similar to that one and I may have picked um, leaf sprigs that were too big I have that's why I kept this set right here and I've got some adhesive down 
I'm just going to do that like that, and I'm going to find a different set, a smaller set, maybe like so. That's got one that's not going to fit under. How about that? And I can do the same thing here that I did there. And that will actually hold it down. And this, I'll put a little glue. Okay, there. And now I'm going to do a title and it's going to say rainy and I think I have a sticker sheet that says road trip yeah we had a rainy road trip from chicago to detroit i will say that the hotel we stayed in well now, i john used to live in detroit in fact he was living in detroit when i um recruited him and and uh, to hire him to work in my uh, my my department, and <clears throat> he we kind of drove around a little bit the areas that he was fairly familiar with, and so got to see a little bit of the city in the rain. But other than that, we pretty much slept through Detroit. And I hated that. We we actually because we didn't make it to the games, we had we had another itinerary set up to to catch Pittsburgh and Philadelphia and the New York teams and so forth um, down the road. Now I've got this little road trip. I've got this one with the map, and then I've got this blue one. I'm gonna try out the blue one. I could do that or this. I think I like this better than using the one with the with the map. So let me put this back here. This is from Stephen Duncan's road trip, which I've been using. That and are we there yet? I've been using throughout this. Um, series, papers and stickers and stuff, and rainy road trip, and then I've got a little thing that says all day, and I'm going to, until the ball game, apparently. Just gonna put that there and I'm gonna add this here rainy road trip today and then I'm gonna put this 27 here just because that's the that's the day we were on I haven't done that on any of the others actually I'm gonna put no worries there I'm gonna put the 27 up here by the, I saw this um, sticker sheet, this chipboard sticker sheet from Vicki Booten that I've had for a hundred years, and um, I decided it's time to use something from it. <laughs> so, so let's do that. So I'll go with 27 there. Now on my, I, I have a set of um, uh, advent calendar kind of numbers that uh, came 
with some Christmas supplies uh, probably a few years back. And I'm gonna use those numbers to put on the outside of the page protectors as I do this, as I string this album together. And so I'm gonna put, um, so I, I, that's why I haven't been putting the numbers on there, but this one has so few embellishments that I figured I could um, I could get away with it. And let me see if there's a tiny little blue element. I'm gonna add this little blue butterfly there. Just for the hell of it. And I need hearts. I have twine. I need hearts. I have distressed around the circles. I have these two hearts, which and one there and one there to kind of sort of, you know, mimic what's going on up there. Okay, I think that's done except for the sequins. And I have this, this set of sequins that has some pinks, yellows, and it has the dark navy blue, and then it has a lighter blue. So I'm gonna try to kind of concentrate them up close to the photo cluster. Um, let me give you an idea. I'll start over on this side. Right in here, 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 here. It's a lot of them coming out from there. And so now I'm just going to kind of splotch them down and let that be the, um, you know, the shininess of the, of the raindrops. For a, for one interpretation. So you get the idea. I'll stop the video now and let you get on with your day. And I appreciate you and thank you very much. This is, uh, this will run on Sunday. I will also have a Scrap Squad Sunday uh, video that will be, uh, that will be out. And it will also be following this week's recipe for the um, uh, Mind the Scrap Summer Challenge. And I thank you for watching. Bye.